I'm going to talk about the mid-segment theory, which the definition of a mid-segment line is a line that starts where one of its vertex is at bisects another line of a triangle in half. So these, we label this one D. So segment DB is congruent to DA. So it bisects that in half. And we'll actually bisect the line across from it. So it's going to go right across. This is a mid-segment line. And this line has some uh, properties to it that makes it uh, unique. So not only does it bisect the opposing lines in half, but it's actually parallel to the line right below it. So AC is congruent, and we'll label this E, to line segment DE. Also what's interesting is line segment DE is one half the length of line segment AC. You can kind of see that. You know, if I put a scale up there, you would see it's about half the length. So, for instance, if I tell you that line segment AC equals 12, you just multiply those together, line segment DE will be 6. Now, in a triangle, there's actually three, I'm going to put another point here and bisect this, there's actually three I'll put this one in as a dash right now. But you can see there's three mid-segments in one triangle. <clears throat> and you can kind of see, too, a parallelogram can form inside. And this is how I'm going to get into, this is how a teacher of yours might use it in an um, uh, uh, example in a test or whatever, test your homework. So a lot of times they'll say, okay, if this angle is 60, They'll ask you what maybe another angle might be. <clears throat> maybe DEF or, or I mean, no, I'm sorry, AFE, -E, this angle here. Well, if we take a look at this, you can see that 60 can actually be transposed over here. Because those are corresponding angles. And as we know, these are alternate interior because these are parallel to each other, right? So a transverse that goes through parallel lines, alternate interior angles, this is 60. And you can see, too, this is a straight line. So we know the angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. Well, if one segment 60, we can take that 60 out of the 180. I'll do this one for you guys. So this interior angle is 120. And what we know about parallelograms is this angle, ADE, is congruent to AFE. So um, 120. And again, you can see here's a straight line, so this is going to be 60. That's about all the angles that you can throw in there. Uh, something else that you can see, let me go back and draw this in now. We have all three mid-segment lines. Now, you might get a question about perimeter. And remember, a perimeter is the length of the outside of a triangle or a square, any shape. Kind of like the perimeter of your yard would be the outside length of the box. Well, the perimeter of this outside length is actually twice as much as the perimeter of this inside triangle. Which makes sense, because if every line segment you have, this one's half of it, overall you're going to get half the perimeter. So keep that in mind when you're doing 